when we when we're younger, oftentimes we get a piece of music that transforms us. Uh, whether it was gifted down from uh, an uncle or an aunt or a friend or a neighbor, um, which is really wonderful. Uh, but at the same time, I think it's it's a, a really cool thing to talk about the first piece of music that a music head like us bought with their own money, meaning you saved up and you made the decision with what little money you had to buy for the first time. So if you wouldn't mind, tell us a little bit about the first record that you bought with your own money. Yeah, see, that's the thing about me, you know, given that I was, you know, privy to almost anything. My mother used to get promos from yeah, every record label. Yeah, he's got them all for free. So I never had to buy anything. And so, yeah, it wasn't until I was a little older when um, I, I went to bed. I used to go to sleep with the radio on. I could not. I had to listen to music all the time. I went to bed with the radio on. And one night after I had tucked myself in. All of a sudden, this tune came on, and I was going, whoa, this is different because it's rock, but it ain't rock because it's also, there's a black vibe in this. And so I feel like this R&B thing going on, but it's rock, and the, distort and the guitar sound is really like nothing I've ever heard before because the distortion and the feedback was just outrageous. Yeah. And it was it was a foxy lady by Jimi Hendrix. I had this was my head what you were gonna say, and that was that was it. So was then, it. and so there was this record store up on Melrose, um, called Aaron's. And so, I don't know. Somehow I got up there, and there was an and uh, and I looked, and sure enough, I saw the cover, you know, of, of Are You Experienced, and that was my first purchase where I spent my own money buying a record. It was Are You Experienced by Jimi Hendrix. Very but cool. really, I didn't, I didn't have to spend money. I mean, I always got records yeah. all the time, but I remember Alley Oop was like my first favorite song uh, from oh, yeah. back in the Alley Oop, Oop, Doomba, Oop, Doomba, Oop, Oop, you know. And then uh, Please, Mr. Custard, I Don't Wanna Go, you know, all these crazy, wacky, old 50s, 60s records. And, so I remember hearing those records as a kid and really loving them, but I didn't have to buy them because my mother was constantly listening to the radio. She had to make sure DJs were playing the records that she was promoting. So the radio was constantly on, and we always got all of the promos long before records were uh, even you still have them? You know, released. Some of them I have. Yeah, I've got some old. Uh, I got the 45. I remember my mother was trying to get the radio DJs to play this record. And she had stacks of them in boxes that was a single in the back seat of the car. I remember when she was going to the radio stations back when she was working for distributors at that time. And the record, and I looked at it, it was on VJ Records. And uh, on one side, it had Love Me Do. And on the other side, it had uh, A Taste of Honey. Hmm. And I remember looking at it, and she was trying to get these DJs to play this record, and they just weren't interested in it. It was by this group. Uh, out of Europe called the Beatles. And so the Beatles, this was before they had their uh, distribution deal with Capital. Mm. So they had, they had little deals going on with these very small independent labels, you know, with, with an attempt to maybe try to break the ice. And my mother was actually one of those people that was trying to break the Beatles. Wow. And nobody was interested. Uh, and then a year and a half later, boom, the Beatles. Yeah. And so, um, I was like, I so, so, on the floor with the Beatles. <laughs> so we, so uh, you know, so we got, all, I got all of these records all the time. You know, uh, some of them long before they actually became uh, known and, and, and revered. Wow, that's amazing. Um, yeah, but my first, my first purchase was Hendrix. Are you experienced? I mean, couldn't ask for a more uh, amazing first record. 